What's up guys? So today uh, iPhone uh, iOS 7 beta 3 was seeded to everybody uh, who has the developer program. Uh, but for us who are going to use the loophole, I'm going to show you guys how to get that today. So if you can see here, I'm using an iPhone uh, 5 on 6.1.4. If you look real close, you can see it right there. Anyway, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to get iOS 7 beta 3 on your device. So the first things first is you need to have the firmware downloaded. Now, if you use the links that I just gave you on my website and in the description below, it's going to take you to a place called mega.co.nz. Now, it's going to require that you use Google Chrome, so please just use Google Chrome. Don't ask me if you can use other web browsers. Just get Google Chrome. It's free. It's fast. Who cares? Um, so it's going to download. It's going to download to your downloads folder. So if you're on a Windows computer, go into your documents, downloads. If you're on a Mac, it'll download straight to your document or your downloads. I've moved it from my downloads folder to my desktop. So uh, once you've got that all arranged and you've got it downloaded, first things first, plug your phone in. Now I'm running iOS six. Uh, mostly because I like the stable version, and I really don't like iOS 7 yet. But uh, we're going to test iOS uh, 7 Beta 3. So with the phone plugged in, if you're on a Mac, you're going to hold Option. If you're on a Windows, you're going to hold Shift, and you're going to click Check for Update. Now I'm going to navigate to my desktop, and actually it's on my download still. Uh, but here it is. I can drag it to my desktop. Oh, well. But... Uh, here it is. It's the iOS 7 Beta 3 firmware downloaded at 8:45, so four minutes ago. Anyway, I'm going to hit open and hit update. Do not hit restore. Hit check for update. If you hit check or restore, it will ask you uh, to become a developer, and if not, you will have to put your phone in DFU mode and backtrack to iOS 6.1.3 or 6.1.4. Also, anybody asking, you can never go back previous to 6.1.2 and beyond because Apple will not sign those firmwares any longer so you can never get back. Uh, the only way I can ever see it is if you use Tiny Umbrella which is an application that blocks that uh, particular part of the update in which Apple checks to make sure that the firmware is what they are signing. Anyway so here we go with the update. I'll come back after this is done. All right, so now it's done. I uh, just restarted, and here we go. We're gonna see what iOS 7 does now that we are on a more stable version. And iOS 7. So, I'm gonna go through the update. It says update completed, enable location. Services, gonna put my password in for Apple. It's updated. Alright, so now I am on uh, iOS 7 beta 3 to confirm that. We've got a uh, little guy right there, it says version 7.0, whatever. Uh, so that's how you guys get iOS 7. Beta 3, uh, you guys, if you are using uh, Beta 1 or Beta 2 and a software over the air update comes across your screen, you are free to do that. It will not mess up your phone. You can just update and make sure you're connected to a Wi Fi. Uh, all of the links are going to be in the description below and on my Twitter and on my website at ijbupdates.com. And you can follow me on Twitter at it's me, A and W. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. That's how to get iOS 7 Beta 3.